Hello there, and welcome back to another installment of SCP Readings with your reader here, Gmo Don. Today we're looking at SCP-753. There's a link down in the description for you to follow along as I read out loud. SCP-753 is a highly advanced automaton, approximately 10 centimeters across, 6 centimeters wide, and 8 centimeters tall. SCP-753 possesses two pincer-like limbs protruding from its main circular body, which it uses to slowly move itself across the ground. This is likely due to SCP-753's locomotive functions having been damaged at an unknown point in its history. At the center of SCP-753's body is a red sensory organ similar in structure to that of the human eye. SCP-753's eye appears to be organic, but it is likely artificially produced. This eye is also damaged, leaving SCP-753 partially blind. A Marshall Carter and Dark LTD logo has been engraved on SCP-753's back. Interior analysis of SCP-753 shows that it moves using a rudimentary nervous system, coordinated by an extremely small spherical brain. Above SCP-753's body is a small receiver, the purpose of which is currently unknown. SCP-753 appears ignorant of its surroundings and does not recognize the presence of personnel. SCP-753's primary purpose appears to be the creation of paintings. Paintings produced by SCP-753 are highly realistic and often do not correspond to real locations. Recently, paintings created by SCP-753 have mostly involved, in some way, SCP-753's death. SCP-753 was initially returned to Marshall Carter and Dark LTD by one of their clients who complained that it was broken. Blank Blank, a foundation mole within the organization, was able to retrieve SCP-753 before incineration. SCP-753 usually produces one painting per hour. When SCP-753 is not provided with adequate paint or painting canvas, it appears to enter a dormant state, shutting down for a minimum time length of one week. As this heavily impedes research, SCP-753 is to be kept stocked with paint and canvases at all times. SCP-753 does not appear to be concerned about completed paintings and generally ignores them after they are finished. I almost feel sorry for this little SCP. It seems to be very suicidal in that it doesn't want to do anything else besides draw pictures of itself dying somehow. Uh, there is a painting log that says a whole bunch of other paintings that it has drawn. Some of them include SCP-753 being crushed in the jaw of a platypus, another is it being on fire inside of a furnace, one is it being inside of a nuclear explosion. It's just on and on and it kind of gets more and more disturbing. It's another one of those SCPs that really makes you wonder why it does what it does and what is its goal in creating all of these paintings. So that has been SCP-753. Thank you for joining me on this reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.